And that is that. Well, that's the idea, at least. Hello everybody! My name is Bloody Elevator, and welcome back to Spire Knights. We need a Groom Repeater. It's like a Blitz Needle, but it does shadow damage. This could be very useful to us later on. But first, we need to learn the recipes for the Dark Chain Gun, Black Chain Gun, and lastly, the Groom Repeater itself. Thankfully, I've already got an auto gun prepared for us, just for this occasion. Now let's go and craft the Dark Chain Gun. And there we have it, the first step to our new weapon. Let's equip it and give it a test drive. Let's head over to the arcade and see how effective this dark chain gun is against some random slimes. Now if I'm correct this should be one of the last few videos that takes place during the dark harvest. So the next few videos should at the very least be in the normal haven that we're all familiar with. Even at level 1, this dark chain gun is pretty effective against slimes at the start of the tier 3 arcade. Not bad at all. Of course, that applies for both its charge attack and its standard attack. Now we just have to go heat this thing up to level 4, and then soon we can upgrade this thing into a black chain gun. Huh, it didn't make the noise this time. Oh, there it is. Anyways, let's get this thing up to level 5. Or I guess level 6. That works too. Whatever the case, we have our level 5 dark chain gun now. Now that we've heated up our dark chain gun, let's unequip it and make the next part of this weapon. And there is our new black chain gun. If the dark chain gun was able to do some decent damage, let's see how much our new black chain gun improves it. Let's go and try this thing out in the arcade. I figured that the best test subject for our black chain gun would be against this giant red slime here. The charge attack does very good damage here, even with two healers on it. That was great. Unfortunately we can't do too much damage with this weapon against these butterflies, because they are resistant to shadow damage, so they're just gonna have to get combustor charged. I think you've already got a good idea on who I'm going to be using the Grim Repeater on during its field test. But first, we've got to heat up this black chain gun to level 10. After running through the Firestorm Citadel with this weapon a few times, we finally got our weapon up to level 9. Let's heat it up to level 10 and finally get our Grim Repeater. Okay, level 10. Let's unequip this thing, and now we can finally craft our great new weapon. The Blitz Needle itself is a good weapon, but not all enemies are vulnerable to piercing attacks. So that's where our soon-to-be Grim Repeater comes in, to deal a massive amount of damage against enemies that are weak to shadow damage, like slimes or gremlins. Or at the very least, neutral damage against enemies that aren't resistant to shadow damage, at least. And there it is! 
our new super weapon against slimes. The Grim Repeater. Let's equip this thing and try it out back in the arcade. If there's one good test subject for trying out our new shadow weapons, it's the Royal Jelly Boss. Here we go. Of course, we gotta deal with the small fries first, otherwise they'll get in the way. Now for what we're really after. Wow, that was fast. This weapon definitely is worth crafting. Normally I end the video sometime around here, but after attempting to test out a completely different weapon, I remembered that there was another boss that I could use the Grim Repeater on. Unfortunately, I realized that just a bit too late, because I had already maxed out the Grim Repeater to level 10. So that was my bad for forgetting. Now I am going to be making some silly mistakes in what's going to be coming up, but the weapon still does a very good job against them. And that is that. Well, that's the idea, at least. I really enjoyed testing out this weapon. It's powerful, and it was fun to use against various enemies that we might not be able to fight with just our Blitz Needle. Let's collect our loot and call it a day. If I'm correct, didn't the Groomer Peter look something different a while back ago? Something sort of like a purple blitz needle? Or am I remembering that wrong? Hmm. And that's all I have to share with you for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching.